Before we get into the meat of this video and explain what an ASIC is, I want you to imagine the Incredible Hulk gardening. That's right, the big green guy in Avengers with a big green thumb. He's out there trying to water his strawberries and till the ground around his beans, but what do you know? He really sucks at it. He has the best intention, but he always overwaters the strawberries with the little tiny pail that he squishes, and he always accidentally tills the beans himself because his feet are so huge he just steps on them. In the end, he has the best intentions, but lacks the correct resources to complete his gardening efficiently. Welcome to Whiteboard Crypto, where we explain crypto topics to you using examples like Hulk watering a garden. If you're wanting to learn about cryptocurrency projects and the technology that builds them, you're in the right place. First of all, what is an ASIC? Well, ASIC is an acronym that stands for Application Specific Integrated Circuit. This means it is basically a circuit board designed to do something very specific. It doesn't get much simpler than that. Well, you might be asking, what is the specific thing that it's trying to do? Well, it's attempting to solve a blockchain problem. We're not going to get into the specifics of how the quote blockchain problem works and how to solve it, but there are two things that you need to know. Number one, there are many different blockchain problems. Problems. A blockchain can choose any problem that it wants for its proof-of-work mechanism. Bitcoin uses SHA-256, and Ethereum uses ETHHash. Each of these problems are essentially a bunch of math. In short, you're telling your computer or circuit board to do a bunch of math until it figures out something and then wins a reward for trying. If you're wanting to learn more about specifically how these problems work, you can check out our video on proof of work, where we explain with stories how these hashes work and are solved. The second thing you need to know is that each problem can be optimized. For example, if you think about it on a low level, you might find a way to do addition problems really quickly. But then if someone presents you with a bunch of multiplication problems, you'll have to be creative and find a way to optimize all of those multiplication problems. You can't use the same system. Well, an ASIC is just a circuit board that has been designed to perform a certain hash, which is actually the technical term for the blockchain problem. And its goal is to do that as fast as possible and as efficiently as possible. In a similar manner, we design these videos so that you are motivated to subscribe and hit the like button as quickly as possible, which you should definitely do if you haven't already. In today's day and age, many coins are mined using GPU use, which are literally the graphic cards and computers that perform math to display the pixels on your screen in the correct manner. Well, it turns out just by luck that these GPUs are also really good at doing the math for some of the major cryptocurrency hashes. For example, in the past few years, Ethereum has been quite profitable, and because of this, GPU prices have skyrocketed past their original MSRP. To give you a perspective, my GTX 1080 Ti that I bought three years ago for $800 is selling on eBay for $9 hundred dollars at the moment. Imagine if something like that happened with an iPhone. It's ridiculous. So going back to our Incredible Hulk example, even though Hulk can try and maybe succeed at growing his garden, he would be a lot better off and a lot more efficient at his job if he was instead smashing grapes into jam. It's just what he's good at. Also, if he hired a horticulturist to do his gardening, he might end up with better tasting strawberries and bright juicy watermelons for him to eat like we eat grapes. In a similar example to Hulk gardening, many ASICs are way more powerful at solving Bitcoin hashes compared to a computer's GPU solving those hashes. It can still do it, but an ASIC at the same price can perform up to a hundred times faster with even less electricity usage. Maybe you want to get into the specifics and you're wondering how. Well, the true answer is we do not know. There are many computer scientists and engineers who work long hours to figure out how to create essentially a circuit board that can crunch numbers in a specific way in the fastest way possible. So in short, there are specialists creating Creating these circuit boards, and their entire job is to find out the best way to do it. So ASICs do come with some downfalls though. One downfall when it comes to ASICs is that they are designed to be specific to one hashing function. So for example, an InnoSilicon A10 Pro can only mine Ethereum using Ethereum hash, and it can't mine any other coin. If for some reason Ethereum hash is no longer profitable, you can't do anything with that hunk of technology, while a GPU you can still play pretty cool games on. Another two minor downfalls is that these ASICs are usually very noisy and hot and require 240 volts. This means you definitely don't want to stick one in your bedroom because you might not be able to go to sleep at night, and it also means you probably need specialized electrical wiring to power it. Well, there's not much more about the specifics of ASICs that we can get into, but we wanted to create this video for those that had questions. Thank you so much for watching this shorter video on ASICs. They are pretty basic and there isn't much to teach about them, but we thought our channel deserved a video about them. So now that you know about ASICs and Hulk's terrible gardening skills, comment below what your favorite Marvel character is. We hope you enjoyed this video. We really hope you learned something, and most of all, we hope to see you in the next video.
that means please subscribe.